Hi, Georgios. Uh, I'm excited to welcome you to the sixth edition of the Data Innovation Summit. Uh, so to begin with, please tell us a bit more about yourself and your background. Hello. Uh, yes, so I'm, I'm Georgios Damaskinos, and uh, I'm a machine learning engineer at Facebook London. Uh, before that, I did my PhD uh, at EPFL uh, in Switzerland where I focused on distributed machine learning and uh, privacy and security aspects of it in particular. For, before that, I, I did my undergrads in, in Greece, uh, studied, studied computer science. So that's, that's my short trip so far. Awesome, yeah. Um, so at the Dat Innovation Summit 2021, you're going to present on video understanding and personalization. Uh, could you please summarize what are the main key points of your session? Yeah, so, and touching base a bit on the, on the previous question as well. So at Facebook, I've been, I've been working at, uh, uh, I've been looking at uh, natural language processing uh, techniques for for video understanding and that that uh, will be the content of the stock um, I, I would say there are two main takeaways the first is that uh, context is very important where we're when we are talking about companies because its company has its own uh, jargon and uh, meaning of different words and uh, entities uh, so being able to capture that is quite important. And the second one is that uh, we have uh, often very long videos that we're not interested in watching. Uh, like we're not in interested in watching the entire video. It's very long, but we're do interested in watching some, some parts of it. And the existing tech uh, in machine learning uh, actually permits as to do that. So this is what the main part of the talk will be, how this tech enables us to do that. And in particular, how it enables us to first detect changes in the, the topics that are being discussed, uh, talked about in the video. And second is to be able to extract some uh, title or content uh, for, for these, for these uh, changes. So in in, a, in in general, like create a chapter for okay. long videos. So that would be the two parts. Mm -hmm. uh, sounds really interesting. I'm looking forward to your session. Um, but on a more personal note, uh, as you said, you're an accomplished machine learning engineer with practical research and teaching experience, uh, as well as many publications and awards in your portfolio. Uh, could you share what are the most important lessons you've learned uh, throughout your career? Yeah, uh, uh, thank, thanks about that. So, um, portal lessons. Okay, uh, I mean, they're, they're kind of cliche, I, I, I don't know. Uh, but I found them to be the more important for me, of course. Uh, so in general, like hard work may not pay off in the short term, but will pay off in the long run. So just having a bit of patience is is definitely worth it and not just quitting uh, fast. That will be the first one. Then uh, I find it quite motivating to expand my skills and knowledge. So work on new things. Of course, not completely unrelated to my background, but uh, for example, NNP is something I didn't study during my PhD, uh, but I find it quite exciting and uh, it has been a nice trip so far. And uh, yeah, the third one, uh, for, for me, it's, it's much, uh, again, motivating and easier to work and be productive when I'm collaborating with other people um, rather than, you know, work completely isolated. So yeah, these these are three mm -hmm. things on the top of my mind. Yeah, I think that the young professionals will find them helpful uh, starting their careers now. Uh, and on a more industry industry related questions, um, what do you see as the main challenges of machine learning today? Yeah, um, well, uh, there are many challenges. The, the ones, uh, I mean, there is there is a ton of work going on into different all different sorts of, of things. 
the ones that I personally find, uh, let's say, exciting to work on um, is uh, the first is is about scaling. Uh, you have many many optimization issues when you're trying to uh, make accelerate learning by using multiple machines, and and this is this is why I find work here at Facebook exciting in this with this regard. And the second, which there has been a very recent, I mean, my, my PhD was on that, and the, there has been a very least recent uh, popularity in this on this challenge is things regarding security and privacy uh, in machine learning. So we have reached the state where you know models are kind of good enough for what we want them, not good enough, but I mean. Uh, they are they are starting to, to to saturate in terms of like increase of of, of performance uh, of, of ability to predict stuff. So uh, we want to start looking at to onto how how robust they are uh, and how we can we can protect them against violating users' privacy and uh, enabling users to to arbitrarily change their their predictions, leading to uh, to quite dangerous decisions. Um, yeah, so I would say uh, TLDR is scaling issues and security and privacy. Right. Um, we've covered some uh, current uh, challenges with machine learning, but as the last point of our discussion, uh, what trends in machine learning can we expect in the near future? What are your thoughts on this? Yeah, um, so uh it, it, this this is also <laughs> this is also um there, there are many things here as well uh just just a couple of things on the top of my mind again right. um so models are getting more and more complex and um like i, I think there will be a state where the, the same knowledge will be able to be extracted by much much less data than it currently is uh so uh similar to i don't know a child learning it a child doesn't need like 1,000 pixels of dogs to understand what dog is. Uh, so, uh, and th that's maybe good news also to the scaling side, side of things. So this is the first part maybe. And then the second thing relates to what I discussed before. So there is a, there is a lot of information out there which is, uh, which is in the form of sensitive data, especially in, in social media uh, uh, including Facebook, mm -hmm. so there there is a ton of information that is is very sensitive, and there is a, the, the technology that exists for being able to extract value from this information in in terms of like machine learning knowledge, uh, and at the same time uh, provide formal privacy guarantees for its users. Uh, so there is a way to have both. Uh, and it's not there yet, but it's 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 getting there. And it's uh, personally, I find this quite exciting. Uh, yeah. So thank you for sharing your uh, let's say predictions uh, and uh, direction as, as to where machine learning will be heading. Uh, with this, I would like to thank you for taking the time to do this interview, uh, and looking forward to your session at the Data Innovation Summit. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye. Have a nice day.